Maybe some buggy stuff. There we go. I'll get this gimbal right in a minute, man. Still working at this thing. There we go. Y'all hang on. Made it back. Made it back. Made it back. Made it back. Put my phone on low power there, guys. That way it don't uh, it don't use much battery, man. These batteries drain a lot. Uh, these life feeds drain the batteries. What's up, Stacy? Hello, Trey. How you doing? What's up, David? How you doing, boy? Ah, oh, man. You have to overlook me, guys. It's daggone uh, standing in daggone cold degree weather or twenty degree weather up there in Virginia, man. I know there's a bunch of us. It's Got us all stopped up and uh, trying to get us sick again, I guess. I, I just got over a little bit of that flu, whatever, and I'll be daggum if it ain't trying to come back. <clears throat> Let's scroll back through some of these comments here. Hello, Joe. Hello, Paula. What's up, David? Hello, Cindy. Hello, Denise. Jay Thaxton, what's up, brother? Glad you're here, man. Hello, Lisa. Guys, if I miss your comment, I apologize. They're going really, really fast. Really fast. Doug Boone, what's up, brother? Long time no talk, man. Golly, man. Comments are flying. What's up, Mike? How you doing, buddy? Yeah, I got my got my little kid, my little dog. You about no baby. You see her head right there, right here. She's always laying with me, seems like. What's up, Laura? David, what's up, man? How you doing, buddy? We'll give it a minute or two, guys. Let everybody get in here. Jim Tom, what's up, brother? We'll let everybody get in here, man. That way, I... I mean, I'll probably, I'll probably be uh, repeating myself, but maybe not as many times. I'll be whining, Doug. I promise you that, brother. Every time I'm on here, I'm whining, fussing, and griping. <laughs> it's staying time for you, ain't there? Something wrong. <laughs> I guess so. I guess so, Trey. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's, 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 it's daggone uh, sickness. It's like it'll go away, and then boom, it'll come back and slam you again. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, it's got a lot to do with the weather, too, man. One day it's you know 60 degrees. The next day it's 20 degrees. Hello, Barbara. What's up, Mark? How you doing, buddy? Ah, oh, Jim, I tell you, brother, getting sick, anybody getting sick ain't no good, brother. But uh, once you uh, once you start getting better, man, you got you to gotta kind of stay away. You know, let me get my pill up here. Stay away uh, from the, stay in the same elements, so to say. How you doing, Elena? What's up, Joe? How's it going, brother? Hello, Sister Pauline. Oh, man. Tried to send you a message. Well, Robin, I'm sorry. Hey, I am, guys, I'm like 300 messages or more behind. I am doing my best to catch up. It's just, it's impossible, man. I swear it's impossible. But I'll, I'll try to, I'll try to check, man. If y'all got some like an important message or something, just keep sending it that way to keep boosting it to the top, man. I say this all the time. Y'all know how Messenger works. When you send a message and another one send it, it keeps bumping them down. So if you send a message this morning, there's a good possibility it's down at the bottom by now. So. Uh, what's up, Edward? Uh, Billy Joe, what's going on? Hello, Miss Sandy. What's up, Vicky? Hey, Mike, I agree, man. You think you're getting over it, man. You think you're getting over the sickness, and then all of a sudden, boom, it'll slam you to the ground again. I tell you, I ain't never, I never felt nothing like this kind of sickness here, to be honest with you. I, get, I see some names in here. I'm glad. I'm glad a few of these names are in here. Uh, let me go through some of these comments. Robbie, what's up, brother? Uh, we got Laura. This weathered us. Uh, hello, Riri. Uh, how you doing, Loretta? Anthony McKean. What's up, brother? I hope you're doing good, brother. Been praying for you, man. Been praying for you, brother. Jimmy, what's up, man? Hey, be careful driving, brother. Be careful. Don't wreck. Don't wreck, man. My mouth ain't worth wrecking for. Promise you that. <laughs> uh, how you doing, Kelly? It's funny, man. They, some people, some people come in and they, and then other people tell on them because they won't even say hi. It's all right though. I'm glad a few of them's in here because I need to sit down and take some notes. As you notice, I got my own notes right here. Bill, what's up, man? 
Man, you notice, guys. Look at it, man. Hey, guys, I got a question. Did you all see me tag anybody's name in this video? I've said a thousand times, man. Y'all just got done hearing me say that I, I'm 300 messages behind, first off. So this phone is ding da ding da ding da ding da ding all the time anyway. Man, when you tag somebody, look, if you ask me if you can tag, and you might be able to say, man, I shouldn't have to ask. Well, man, uh, I use this phone for a reason. You know, uh, I'm not here to be friends, guys. I got a lot of friends, but that's not why I'm here. But if you tag me in something, one of your live videos, every time you t every time somebody comments, it's ding da ding da ding da ding da ding. And I'm gonna be honest, a lot of people are tagging me and Scott and a lot of other ones just because of our pages, just because of the numbers that they think they're gonna get watching them when they do a live feed. Did you notice I ain't tag nobody? If I do tag them, I'll ask. It's called respect. The next person that tags me in one of their live feeds or whatever without asking, I'm blocking, guys. You ain't got enough respect to message me and say, hey, man, do you care if I tag you in my video? Then I ain't got enough respect to even listen to you. You know, like I said, I'm not here to be friends, man. Uh, and guys, like I said, man, in comments are going, God, am I there flying? I'm, maybe maybe it's where I'm half sick. I don't know. But it seems like they're doing, uh, they're going a lot faster than they used to. Uh but as you can see, man, I got me some little notes right here, man. I've been sat down. I've been to sit down taking notes. Uh, uh, now, Yogi, Sister Yogi, you're fine. You know what? You share stuff. Sharing and tagging is completely different. You share a lot of our stuff to these groups and stuff, and that is greatly appreciated. If you want to share, that's different. Tagging my name to get you more viewers in your stinking video is what I'm talking about. And I'm not, you know, there's several people that do that. And, uh... A few of my brothers, they know it's okay. A few of these guys that think they're my brother, which are really not, they're really backstabbers, they're the ones that's going to start getting blocked, guys. I don't care how long you think we've been buddies, this and that. Man, I've seen so much BS go on since Richmond. Look, this video is not going to be much about Richmond. I might hit on it, but it ain't much about Richmond. This is the stuff that went on after Richmond. This is the stuff that went on right before the rally and it's all bull crap guys i, I you all a lot of, and i'm talking and listen they that's they may be one or two females that i'm talking about the rest all men you're supposed to be standing for god in this country but instead of standing for god in this country you're standing for your stinking self man for real your videos tell on yourself when you're on there saying me, 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 I, 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 we, 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 and you, there's no action ever behind it. Billy Sessions, what's up, my brother? Glad you're in here. Uh, we, when you're on there doing all that, man, your videos will tell on yourself. You know, I'm going to say it like this. You know, it takes time to get numbers to the people to watch you. If your message is not good, if you can't keep people's attention, then they're not going to stick around. I don't care. You can tag Jesus' name. You can tag Elvis Presley's name. I don't care whose name you tag. It might get them there for a minute, but they're not going to stay. If your message is no good, they're not going to stay. So, you know, instead of trying to ride somebody else's coattail, change your, change your stuff up. Change your position. Change your, your message. Change it up. I promise that'll work. You know, and like I said, like uh, Sister Yogi and I, hey, look, Sharon, that's perfect. I'm talking about some of these guys doing these live feeds, and they tag my name and Scott's name and Billy's name. A lot of these names, because they know we get numbers when we watch. And look, I ain't bragging, but by God, they're there, ain't they? There's 90 people in here right now. I'm not lying about it. I'm just telling the truth here. James Dale Brock, what's up, brother? Uh, you tag our names in your videos riding our coattails. And look, man, if Facebook didn't go the ding, the ding, the ding, the ding, it wouldn't be that big deal. But listen, I sat and listened to some of y'all's messages, and you got my name tagged in it. And all you're doing is spewing a bunch of BS. You know, if you're going to tag me in something, at least have a good message. At least let me be proud of what my name's tagged in, or proud of what you're saying, or what you're standing for. All this we, 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 I, I, I stuff, don't cut it. Let me tell you something right now. I've said this a thousand times. This is not about me. Doing these live feeds... And talking like I have been the past four years, it ain't about me, guys. First and foremost, it's about God. 
then it's about our country. That's the main reason these videos has even been done. The way I do them, the way Billy does them, the way Scott does the way a lot of other people do them. I'm right there with you, Billy. I don't even share no groups, man. I hit the live button and just roll with it. Whatever happens, happens. You know, sometimes I'll go back and share later to afterwards, but I'm about too lazy to do it myself. I've always got something on my mind there that I've got to spit out. I've got a daggone little note card here. But you know, guys, we know before ever, you know, after every event, there's always drama. We see it, man. I mean, I don't, I don't think the 60 some that we've been in or I, 60 some I've been in, there's a few. Got a little bit more than me. Uh, I ain't seen one yet that ain't had some kind of drama after it. But what I've seen, I, I just passed Richmond rally. I've seen people starting drama before the rally even started. Starting drama that didn't pertain to the rally. That didn't pertain to God or this country. It pertained to themselves and their egos. That's what I've seen. I've seen a, quite a bit of it. Honestly, Blew my mind from a few of these guys. I mean, I just did not see it coming from them. I thought, what in the world am I watching? You're what, what is this? Right before the rally, your main goal should be on security to make sure your team and everybody with you is going to be safe. Make sure everything, you know, everything is going to be going on at the rally. If you're speaking, make sure you got your speech ready. You know, that type of thing. It's kind of common sense. Now, look, I understand some people don't understand the security part because you're not involved in that, and that's fine. There's different positions for different people. But me, with me and a lot of other people, we've been on the security side, and we always, you know, get the layout, look out, look for ways in, look for ways out. That's That should be the main priority. But this last reality, I've seen groups stirring a pot. That's what I've seen. Stick it, man. I mean, they got a big shovel and just trying to stir it around and around right before, the day before the rally started, man. What is that? You realize by doing that, you jeopardized everybody that was going there. I mean, and if you look at the big picture, if you see the way Richmond was to begin with, we had huge, we were jeopardized big time from the get-go and didn't know it. And look, maybe, maybe these groups didn't know that either. But regardless, you say we wasn't jeopardized at all by doing the stupid stuff, stirring the pot, and not looking at the big picture of why the rally or why you even going to the rally. Instead, you're looking at me, 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 I, 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 we, 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 what we're doing, what we're doing, what we're doing. It makes you fake. I lost a lot of respect for some people. I really did. Because of their childishness. You know, I've said, I, like I said in my video the other night, these rallies are real. They're not fake, they're dangerous. You know, I don't know how many times I've walked out of the house with my girlfriend tears running down her face because I've got a dang $150,000 hit on my head. For me along with many others. Billy, a lot of us did. All the time. They've not been a rally yet. You know, and here it, people blowing up. And yeah, trust me, I talked about it. The hit list from Antifa, I talked about it. But that's nothing new to me or Billy or Scott. We've been on it for, I don't know, my God, four years we've been on them lists. Yeah, it's good to bring it to a point, but we weren't that worried about it because we've been on it the past four years. I know people flipping out. I get it. It's your first time on there. I get it. You know, I've done the same thing my first time. But I don't understand why you're not looking at the big picture. Why Are you going to that rally for yourself? Are you going to rally for God and his country and try to fix his country? I mean, I know people right now stirring a pot. Their county is not a Second Amendment sanctuary county. Why, why don't you work on that? You know, instead of all this stuff that I see people on here trying to dog people and this and that, why ain't you working, going to your school board meetings, going to your city council meetings, looking in your city, and look, if your city's great, go to the next one beside you. If that one's great, go to the next one beside you. Why are you focus so much on trying to tear people down? And I've seen people especially trying to tear good people down with a bunch of lies. And I know one guy that knows it's lies. And he's stirring apart because his little feelings and his emotions are hurt. His feelings are hurt. He's using relationship status and he's tearing the daggone movement, trying to tear the movement down because his feelings got hurt. And I'll be honest, I've lost a lot of respect for this guy. You know, we all got problems, guys. That's life. You know, I could sit on here for days and talk about my problems, but this ain't about me. This is about God and his country. So I push all that to the side. You know, where's your priorities at? 
But I see a lot of it. I see people trying to stick and jab and trying their best to find a downfall of somebody when they could be doing something good. You know, let everybody else. You know what? Have you ever heard that old saying, if you give them enough rope, they'll hang herself? A lot of people need to take notes on that because that's what will happen. Instead of you sitting focusing on trying to tear people down and try to prove this and prove this, why don't you just do good? And since you're riding their dang coattails anyway, won't you try to one-up us? How about that? You know, and trust me, and I know there's a lot of people out there. Man, it, what it all boils down to is jealousy. They're so jealous that, that maybe they didn't step up in time. I don't know. And you know what? Look, I don't care if you stepped up yesterday. Thank you. I appreciate it. We need you. But there's people out there, they've hit this live button. These numbers right here has gone to their head. Trust me. I Trust me. I know it's easy done. I know. I've seen that. I mean, my gosh, hundreds of people that's done it. They get little numbers watching, and boy, their message will change. Everything starts changing about them, you know. You can go back and watch my videos from four years ago. That There's a difference, yes. But the only difference is that I'm not cussing as much, and I'm focused more on God now than I was then. I'm exactly the same now as I've always been. Man, I've seen people's whole demeanor change. I've watched guys change their daggone voice. They'll do anything to get them numbers up there. And I'm telling you right now, this ain't about you. This ain't about me. This is about God, first off. I don't know how and why people can't get that through their head. But I've seen so many people that I used to have a lot of respect for. So that respect is going out the door. It's going. It's slowly but surely leaving. You know, it's sad this day and time, especially after Richmond, that we're going to have, I just got off phone with Brother Scott a few minutes ago, we're going to have to start vetting the rallies. Not the people, yeah, the people going naturally, but we're going to start vetting the rallies and look more into the rallies from now on because of what happened in Richmond. It's safety, guys. You have, we're going to have to. We don't have a choice. And, you know, I've seen, I've seen guys even today, you know, they've done six, seven daggone videos. The only reason they get anybody watching them is because they're calling out big people's names, other big names. They're calling them names. That are you stupid? Are you? I mean, are you that stupid? Do you not realize the only reason you're getting numbers is because you got to put somebody's name in your mouth? Is that the kind of person you want to be? I mean, is that how you represent God? You got to be trashing somebody to be able to get numbers. If you know, I mean, yeah, I've said names in this video, but I've said them in a good way. You know, trust me, if I catch you scamming or something, yeah, I'm going to call you out. I've, I've, I'm, trust me, I'm well known to do that. If I've, I always got facts, guys. I don't go by nothing but facts. There's some guy on YouTube right now, and trust me, I'm going to put this video on YouTube just for him. I don't even know him. Trying to say that uh, I scammed people and took the money and went to the beach on the 4th of July or something. I'm going to say this to this guy. You know, every time... Uh, First of all, if you know what I was at the beach, you'd have to seen a picture or video. Otherwise, you wouldn't know I was there because I don't know you. But every picture you take's got a time stamp and a date. I want this guy to show me a picture of me ever, ever, ever being to the beach on the 4th of July. Because I'm going to tell you this, old pal. I understand you're jealous because you can't get no numbers and you're nobody. Uh, but I've always chose to go to the beach in May and September because it's cheaper. You know, I don't go in the most expensive time. You never see me there on the 4th of July. So keep trying, buddy. Keep digging. You know, say something else. Uh, if you can produce a picture, post it on there. This guy's mad because I keep deleting his comments. Yeah, you're a liar. I ain't never been to the beach on 4th of July. I'd like to, time or two. I know I had a big fireworks show at Myrtle Beach one year, and I'd like to went, but man, it's just so expensive I didn't go. Only time I've ever been to the beach is May and September. Go and look. She pull me a picture or a video and prove that I was there on July 4th, and we'll talk. Until then, shut up. That's only every time you get in there, and I didn't even say your name, but you know who you are. Because I ain't going to put this on YouTube after I get done. You know, guys, I did. I took some notes right here. You know, and here's another thing that I see. I see guys, and trust me, I've stood with a few of these guys. They've been to three, four, five, maybe six rallies. Okay, wait a minute. Let me stop. I'm going to give them a little bit of credit. Let's say they've been to 10. And they've watched 65. And the ones they don't attend, that they watch, that they're not there, they get on to do a tangent about it and act like they know everything that was going on. Now listen, there is a few people, like like me and brother Billy had commi complete communication through this whole rally. Billy knew what was going on. Billy was just as involved as I was and he wasn't there. I'm talking, 
These people wasn't it wasn't involved with nobody. They just want to get on and run that mouth and talk about it to get them numbers. I've seen so many people's heads swell up over numbers. It blows my mind. It's not about you. Yes, the numbers are important to get your message out. Yes, the numbers are important, but these live feeds are not about you. They're not about me. You should be focusing on God in this country because I will tell you what's going to happen. If you're focusing on yourself, you're going to get nowhere because majority of these people, like I just got done saying, they've only been to 10 rallies out of the 150 we've had in this country. You've only been to 10. You know, real people will understand that. Real people will look at that and say, oh, yeah, oh, this guy don't know what he's talking about. But it's kind of sad that you might be able to fool two or three. That's why I'm pointing it out right now. And if you feel I'm talking about you, oh, well, I don't care. You know, I'm telling the truth. There is people that wasn't at the rally that was just tuned in as I was because we was on the phone. They knew everything. They were some people knew more than I did because they was watching five, six different live feeds on five, six different devices. So they had more eyes than I did. So, yeah, they've got room to talk. Difference is a lot of these people don't even do live streams. But there's a few guys that do that wasn't there. But, boy, they can tell you all about it. Tell you how to do it. By God, they didn't show up. You know, and I, guys, you know, most of the time I let people kind of fend for themselves and do it. But I've been watching a bunch of hogwash, especially since last night and today. You know, uh, and I'm, you know, I, man, if I laugh real hard, I'll get the hiccups. I got the hiccups today. I was laughing so hard when I heard that Billy Sessions was Antifa. I, oh my gosh, that's the funniest thing I've ever heard in my life. Anybody that's been in this movement long enough to know knows that there was a parody page made. Well, and it's kind of sad. One of the guys that knows about it is the guy sharing it, trying to stir the pot. Blows my mind. But there was a parody page made. I mean, guys, I could go right now on Messenger. And I can make a parody page. I can make another page. I can make a page that looks just like yours and and say the most ungodliest thing ever was. You think I'm going to believe that? If it's voice clips, that's different. But you know what? You can share them in there. Video and pictures don't lie. Messenger does. So anybody that's believing that bunch of hogwash, I mean, I don't know why if that rumor even got started. I know better. And look, I, Billy didn't ask me to even say his name. I just thought it's funny. I mean, I laughed. I got the hiccups. He's not no MT. It's a, that's the farthest thing from MT I've ever seen. Seems to me like the guy going around spreading that, he moved in with Antifa from what I hear. From moved in for Redneck Revolt. That's what I heard. I don't know the guy that well. He, and that's the thing. If I don't know you, Billy don't know you, if Scott don't know you, if Del Brock don't know you, uh, and I could name, uh, you know, maybe 15 more names, 20. If we don't know you personally or at least ever heard your name, you ain't ever done nothing. If all you're doing is sitting, making videos, telling people how to do stuff when you're not doing it. You know how many times I've seen that? That's in Keyboard Warriors, man. I've seen that so much. People sitting talking about doing rallies and they've never stepped foot in one. Yeah, they got a good message. Trust me, I know I know a couple guys that are still doing it, man. They sit back and talk and talk and talk, but they ain't never no boots on the ground. So I don't listen to that. You know, that's all talk and no action. You know, and all I know, yeah, but I, I seen that video. I know you warned him, Billy, man. Say, Billy, they just ain't no cure for stupid, I don't guess, man. You know, and listen, man, I understand that these people out there and these groups starting and they stuff that they're jealous of Appalachian Mountain Patriots. That's my Scots group. They're jealous of the highwaymen. They're jealous of CPR. They're jealous of the Proud Boys. They're jealous. You know why? It's because they know we mean action. They know everything we've said we're going to do, we've always done plus. There's a lot of stuff behind the scenes y'all don't know. And I think what's killing them is that they know that the only way they'd ever be able to top us is, is if we quit. And we're never going to do that. The only way you'd ever be able to one-up us is if we quit because you're already too far behind. Look, put that me, 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 and I, I put that all behind you. Because like I said a few minutes ago, this ain't about us. This is about God. This is about our country. And out of those four groups that I just named, that's what we all stand for. And that's how we all work. So by it being for God, we're never going to stop. 
It's all you other guys sitting back wishing that we would and trying to bring us down. All you're doing is bringing people to see the truth and then they're seeing the fakeness in you. So I kind of appreciate it. I love it when people have my name in their mouth because that's going to bring them to videos like this. And you know how many people's come to me and said, man, I came, I came to your page to kind of troll you. And then I found out that you're actually the real one. And the person that was talking crap is the fake one. Yeah. Guys, the truth don't lie. It don't lie. I see it all the time, man. I see it all the time. The highwayman working on state level. That's exactly right. Everybody needs to be working on the state level. I need help here in Tennessee. Trust me. They're getting ready to start letting a bunch of illegals in here. I need help here in Tennessee. Virginia. We ain't done with that. The Virginia still needs big time something done before January. Don't know what yet. I'll be honest with you. I'm kind of gun shy to even mess with the folks up there in Virginia after what happened in Richmond. I really am. And I mean, anybody wouldn't be there's something wrong with them. I felt like I got smacked in the face big time up there. You know, somebody come. And look, I went because my brother Scott, Scott Harris. You know, we run Appalachian Mount Patriots. I went because he lives in Virginia. That's his state, okay? I come from Tennessee. I know people that come from Texas, California. I know people that come from everywhere. Kind of got smacked in the face. Now, like I said, guys, I got some notes right here. And I know I'm hitting this and that and this and that, but uh, that's just how I am. Let me flip this around here. Let me, let me see. I'm making sure. I'm making sure I ain't forgotten that guy. Let me read a few of these comments. Hey, that's right, man. Hey, guys, and that's the thing. I guarantee you some of these guys that's out here talking crap, pretending and talking talking about doing stuff, right there where they live needs a lot of work. A lot of these guys out here spilling their mouths talking either about me or Billy or Scott or whoever they're talking about, right there in that little town they live in, it's not Second Amendment Sanctuary. That's what I'm saying, man. Why don't you focus on where you're at and expand? If your county's good, go to the next one. If that one's good, go to the next one. That's how, and, it, and you know what? While I all meet up somewhere, and the whole country will be took care of. It's kind of, I mean, it's teamwork. You know, and look, man, I may have missed a few groups' names uh, that I don't know that well or whatever, but I mentioned the main four that I do know. Uh, my group's one of them. You know, that's the thing. We've been around since the very beginning. Very beginning. We've been around just like the highwaymen. You know, uh, that that's the thing. A lot of people know who Jamie and Scott are, but they don't. We've not mentioned Appalachian Mountain Patriots as much as we should. We've kind of held that in the background, you know, because we, we're, we're kind of a small group, you know. But one thing I say, we're small, but we're very, very strong. We even know we're small, we're, we're just as strong as the other ones, even though they're bigger. We're just as strong, you know. We'll go stand and, and blend in with them, you know. But when it comes to the home front here, if your house burns down, hurricanes, whatever, the Appalachian Mount Patriots step up. It's kind of a community thing, you know. We've been taking care of veterans for four years now. You know, a lot, a lot of people don't know that, but we have, you know. I'm, I'm trying, I mean, guys, I don't understand why people got so much time to sit and, and get on a video and try to dog. I mean, I'm talking seven, eight videos of the same thing. Look, call it out one time and shut up. I guarantee you your city, your city council down there has got somebody corrupt in it. Won't you move them out? Won't you, since you're such a big, big person there, won't you go up and get in their spot? You know, that's what, that's what I don't get, guys. I don't understand. what. Where do you get the time? If you're really standing for God in this country, I promise you don't have time for that. Because open your eyes. Look what's going on in this country. Look what they're doing to our president right now. You could be focusing on that. Focusing on getting people behind him. More people behind him. There's so much more you could be focused on besides what you're doing. And you know, these, some of these people think, oh, I'm getting the numbers because I'm mentioning the big names. Then people, you know what? I'm, I'm glad to say, and I know Billy and Dale Brock and Scott and all these other, Jay and all the Proud Boys and CPO, I know they're all proud to say this. Is the numbers that we got are real people. And I think that's what's making these other people so jealous is that it's the same people. It's our people going to them, basically from our videos, so to say. That's the stance I'm looking at it in. And they're just going to listen to the hogwash come back telling us. So you ain't really got no numbers. All you're doing is gossip. 
You know, I could go on Periscope right now. I don't go Periscope much. But I could go in there right now and just blah, 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 and just talk about a bunch of stuff. Sunday numbers will jump up. But I promise you, they're not going to remember who I am tomorrow. Get the picture. See what I'm saying? Yeah, Billy, there's no way anybody has got time to stir the pot on anybody else's name with what's going on in this country. You know what? When we get this country taken care of, son, I'll help you stir it. How about that? Once it's taken care of, we got everything. We got God first all over. We got, you know, everything second. I mean, we got everything taken care of. Hey, I'll come stick my finger in it a little bit and stir it with you. How about that? How about we start worrying about that first? I'm sure a lot of other people will be right there with me too. What I'm getting at is that we don't have time for the nonsense. And to be honest, a lot of you all, and look, I don't, I can't say y'all because I don't know who's there or not because I don't listen to the hogwash. I've seen bits and pieces of it. If you're going over there listening to that stuff and if you're agging it on, if I see your name in the comments, I'm going to block you. Boom, you're gone. There's going to be a few that I'm going to block after this video right here because I know they come in, they're listening, they didn't even say a word. They know I'm talking about them. And that's fine. It is what it is, man. Keep getting mad. Get burned up, get bullying inside. The one thing I'm going to say, Appalachian Mountain Patriots, the Highwaymen, CPR, and the Proud Boys, we're never going to stop. So, you thinking, you are, why don't you come up and be with us? Why don't we all just be equal right there on the top? You know, why, why can't we do that? That would be amazing. I welcome you with open arms, but if you come at that drama and all this bunch of selfish bullcrap, then you ain't no better than the left to me because you're an obstacle just like they are. See what I'm saying? You get in the drift, you understand what the word's coming out of my mouth. It's bullcrap, guys. It's time to focus on the real things, man. Jim Dandy, what's up, brother? Good to see you, brother. Yeah, I mean, that's it, man. Look, guys, if y'all see people stirring the pot, and if you're just over there watching, look, I understand there's a few that do, because that's just what they do. But you realize they're doing it for the numbers. That's the only reason they're doing it. And they're feeling full. I, I, I welcome anybody. Trash me all you want. Because all that's going to do is bring more pay. I appreciate the free advertisement, man. I appreciate it. You know, because that's all it is. Because once they come over here, they're going to see that I'm real and you're the fake one. You know, the difference, the, here's the difference between me and you. And I'm talking about the ones that stir in the pot. Is that if I'm in the wrong, I apologize and I'll make it right. Kind of simple. <laughs> you know. That's exactly right, Billy. I, this is not, I don't do this for entertainment. If I wanted to be a freaking movie star, I'd go to Hollywood. This is a networking tool to accomplish agenda, just like Billy said right there. That's exactly right. They may be, I mean, out of the dang hundreds of live feeds I've did, they may be a few of me doing something. I don't know. I mean, it's sad I can't even remember. Maybe shooting guns or something like that. Maybe something fun. Most of the time, but I mean, even at that, even shooting guns, that's still to get an agenda. You know, get people fired up to save the Second Amendment. Uh but you need to use this for that instead of trying to tear people down and get people's names in your mouth. When I, from now on, when I see that, unless you've caught them scamming or some bull, if it's just hearsay and this and that, I'm going to block you. I ain't got time for you. And y'all know who you are. Trust me, I know a few of you pretty daggone good. I've lost a lot of respect for a few of you. But really have. <clears throat> and don't say, oh, Jamie, you should have called and talked to me. <laughs> no. No, talking's done. You've done enough talking. You should have thought before you done what you did. I'm not here to make friends, guys. I'm here to accomplish an agenda. First and foremost, that's to bring people to God. Second, that's to bring his country and prolong Christianity as long as we can. That's the two main goals. And that's what I know. <clears throat> that's for all of us. Billy, sometimes we have to do the entertaining. Sometimes, I mean, you know, sometimes you have no choice but to come on and, and honestly, I do it just to fire them up a little more, get a little more free advertisement. Because, I, you know what, maybe maybe one of those people that I'm firing, you know, when I come back, I'll do one video maybe coming back. Maybe one of those people that listen to them and then come over here, maybe I bring them to God. Maybe they was never saved. Maybe they weren't a Christian. We look at it that way. 
You know, but at the end of the day, whether you like it or not, God's watching you. Everything you do. Do you think he's happy for you getting on there talking hogwash about somebody else? Or do you think he'd be happier as you trying to prolong his life? Think about it. Something to think about, ain't it? Oh yeah, Jay, you're right, brother. Hey, man, yeah. What our, what they don't know is is the circle just keeps getting smaller. But boy, the smaller it gets, the stronger it gets. Just here for Detroit free twink. Well, hey, I'm here for. I'd like to have some free beef jerky, our brother Kool Aid. <laughs> Ain't got no twinkie. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Here you go. Wait, I got you something right here. There you go, brother Kool Aid. There you go. There's your little raisin cake. How about that? There's your raisin cake, brother Kool Aid. That's funny that you said that, and I happen to have one sitting beside me. Uh, let's see here. Hey, Billy, we could do that, brother. Hey, even though we don't live close, when it gets uh, when it gets uh, a little bit warmer weather, yeah, we'll do that, man. That sounds that would be awesome. That would be awesome. Yeah, let's do that, man. Let's do that. But think about what I said, guys. You know, look, and if you think I'm talking about you, reach out. Worst things happen is I tell you, go jump in the lake somewhere, right? There's a few of these guys that live kind of close or, or, you know, that's been acting out and, and, and not putting the main goals first. They're putting themselves first, guys, and we don't do that. That's not how this works. God, country, don't care about your feelings. Don't care about your relationships. I don't care about none of that. That's your personal problems. You keep that personal, Okay. Once God and once we got God back, and once His countries took care of them, hey, you know what? I'm all ears to listen. But till then, keep it off here. And you put my name in your mouth all you want. Like I said, I appreciate the free advertisement. I do. I love it. But uh, I'm going to. Uh, I'll be screen recording this right after. So if anybody tries the message in the next uh, 37, 38 minutes, I will not be able to respond because I do screen record because this got to go on YouTube. Fret, fret, uh, fret Joker on YouTube. He's got to watch this. Maybe he'll give me some free advertisement too. But guys, focus on the main picture. God and his country, okay? Focus on him too. Don't worry about the drama and all the screen. Uh, man, somebody that take anything from Messenger and try to make that credible. <laughs> oh, it shows how stupid you are, man. I can make that up on anybody right now. Within a matter of 10 minutes, I can have you looking like a dog. Difference is... Antifa does it all the time. Videos and pictures don't lie, though. So if you got real proof, show it. If not, shut up and focus on the real things. How about that? But guys, I love you. Say a prayer for a country. Pray for a president. Pray for one another. Say a prayer for our troops over in the Middle East. Pray for our veterans. Pray for these people that's that's got their mind on themselves. I hope God reaches down and shakes them somehow and lets them know, look, this ain't about you. It's about me. I hope God does that to you. Because it is about him. It's not about you. It's not about me. It's about God. Put him first in everything you do. I love you guys. Who knows? It's uh, it's only 6 o'clock. Good possibility I'll be back. I love you guys. We'll see y'all uh, maybe here in a little bit or something. I know Brother Scott's going to be live here in a little bit. I'd say Brother Billy will be, Billy will be too. Check them out. Go to the videos. Check out Chance Morgan. Uh, Jay Thaxton. I'm calling out people I know it's got good messages, guys. It's got good talks. Uh, I'm going to do that one night. I'm going to sit and name names of people that I know that are real. Because trust me, if you're fake, I can see right through you. I love you guys. God bless you. We'll talk to you soon. Have a good night.